Uh, welcome to watch the video of different types of convolutional neural network. So the first type is LeNet. It is the first CNN architecture. It was one of the successful CNNs and it has been widely used for handwritten digit recognition. So it consists of a multiple convolutions and subsampling or otherwise called as pooling layers uh, followed by a fully convoluted layer. So the model has a, a five convolution layers followed by two fully connected layers. So have seven layers. So the first layer consists of uh, input image with dimensions 32 cross 32. So it is convolved with six filters of size pi cross 5 resulting in dimensions of 28 cross 28 cross 6. So the second layer is pulling operation with the filter size 2 cross 2 and strike of 2. So the main function of pooling is to reduce the dimensions. So similarly, the third layer is also a convolution operation to extract the features again with the filters of size pi cross pi followed by a fourth pooling layer with a similar filter size of 2 cross 2 and a straight of 2. Now the resulting image dimension will be reduced to pi cross pi cross 16. This is what the architecture is about having seven layers input dimensions of 32 cross 32. Then it is convolved with a six filters of size pi cross pi resulting in dimensions of 28 cross 28 cross 6. Then the second is a pooling layer to reduce the dimensions. Then third is again a convolution layer followed by a fourth pooling layer. Then the resultant image will be reduced to pi cross pi cross 16. That's net architecture. It's a very similar structure to LeNet but it was a deeper one bigger and a future convolution layer starts on top of the layers. So uh, mainly this AlexNet architecture was designed to handle with large scale image data sets that can achieve state of art results at time of its invention. So it consists of five convolution layers combining with the max pooling layers. Then it is having three fully connected layers and one dropout layer. Activation function used here is softmax classifier that helps to detect multiple classes. So initially it starts with convolution layer, then a, with the overlapping max pool, then again convolution, then overlapping max pool. Finally, we can obtain this fully convoluted layer. It has been reduced with the help of softmax activation function having a five convolution layers with three fully convoluted layers and two dropout layers to prevent the overfitting. Initially, RELU activation function is used during the process and finally we can have softmax classifier. So number of parameters present is around 60 million. Then Alexa trained this with a data set with 15 million high resolution images. The next type is Google net. We call it as the inception type. It has been introduced the inception model during 2014 that employs parallel convolution operations with the different kernel sizes. Actually these type of architecture efficiently capture the futures at the multiple scales which helps to promote better generalization. This Google net it shows the benefits of inception models for improving the performance. Initially the architecture that comprise 1 cross 1 then 3 cross 3 5 cross 5 convolution layers followed by a 3 cross 3 max pool with a padding region then on the previous layer and it concatenates their output. So totally it has a 22 layers none of which are fully connected layers. So it requires a 4 million parameters that is 12 times fewer parameters than the previous architectures. So three type of convolution layers followed by a 3 cross 3 max pooling then 22 layers then it has a 4 million parameters that is fewer than of the previous type. This is one real time example. So the next method is VGG. So that we call it as visual geometry group net. Here the 16 in the name that indicates the model contains 16 layers that have weights that includes convolution layers as well as fully connected layers. So here it is a 16 layer CNN with up to 95 million parameters and it has been trained on over 1 billion images which means 1000 classes. So it can take a large input images of 200 24 class 224 pixel size for which it has 4096 convolution futures. So it is computationally efficient and it serves as a strong baseline for many applications in computer visions. This is how the convolution is performed initially with the input size then it has been a future map then again convolution has been done for the next five layers then a fully connected layer between the maximum pooling for reducing the dimensions. So the convolution has been used along with the rectifier linear unit. So it helps to remove the negative values. Finally, the output has been forwarded to the fully connected layer 1 cross 1 cross 4096. Then we can obtain the output as 1 cross 1 cross 1000. Over 95 million parameters are trained. We have given an input size of 224 cross 224. Then it is an efficient model can be used across with the ULO and the SSD. 
So the next model is uh, ResNet. It is a seen an architecture and the network has a 152 layers and over 1 million parameters. So which is considered deep even for CNN because this will take more than 40 days on 32 GPU to train the network. So CNN are mainly used for image classifications with a thousand classes. But this type of ResNet model proves that CNN has been also used successfully for solving NLP problems like sentence completion. It has been used by Microsoft Research Asia team during 2016 and 17. So this architecture is computationally efficient and it has been scaled up or down to match the computational power of the GPU. So initially we have to do the zero padding process. Then in stage one, the convolution, batch normalization, then rectified unit with the max pooling is done. Then it has been followed by stage two, three, four, five with a convolution block and ID block. Finally, we have to perform average pooling, find the average values of the data. Then flattening performs the fully connected layer then it has been transformed into a one dimensional value. Finally, we receive the output. They're having a 152 layers with over of 1 million parameters. It was in train more than 40 days on 32 GPU. It has been able to classify 1000 classes, not only with for image classification, it has been also used for NLP problems. It is a computationally efficient final diverse mobile net architecture. So for embedding various type of devices in mobile, this technique has been efficiently used. So initially the input has been passed over with the three class three convolution layer, then a Depth-based separable convolution has been performed to identify the important features. Then it has been over through again DS convolution for more stages. Finally, that uh, average pooling has been performed with a fully connected layer. Followed it. Then we are having the softmax activation layer to have the final output. It's mainly used for a mobile device to classify the images or direct the objects that are having the low latency and it's easy to run on real time embedded devices like smartphones uh, and drones. It can be tested on CNN with uh, over uh, 100 to 300 layers. It works better than that uh, visually geometry group network. Real time example is that in Android phones, you are able to run the Google's mobile vision API that can automatically identify the labels of uh, popular objects presenting in the images. So I hope uh, you understand the concepts of different types of uh, convolutional network. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vijay.